evening, everybody, wherever you are. Good day. It's Brenda Pierce, your hostess of the Healthy Wealthy Evolution, and we're having a fantastic evening tonight with Kenji Kimura. Kenji is a wonderful visionary that I have um, been introduced to this year with his amazing work with quantum light weaving. And let me tell you, I my life has not been the same since. So when I decided to start the Healthy Healthy Wealthy Evolution, the very first name that popped on my list was Kenji's name. I just had to have him on this series because I know that his work is transformative, healing, and will put us in the right frame of mind for 2012 and beyond. Uh, the lines are packing up right now, Kenji, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much, and welcome everyone out there in Radio Land. Wonderful. Thank you so much for making the time to be with us. I have been so excited about tonight, and I know that we are going to just have a fantastic time and can hardly wait to get started here. So the Healthy Wealthy Evolution is my brainchild and gift to the world. I um, overcame many blocks and challenges this past year to be able to free myself up to explore options and opportunities, and I thought no greater gift to give back to the world for all the wonderful gifts that I have received than to host a Telesummit series, which really focuses on making the best of 2012 and beyond. My mission is to touch a thousand lives and create a thousand miracles. And I consider each and every one of you who has joined on to my list a miracle. So thank you very much, and I hope that you all receive back the miracles that you're hoping for tonight. What I'd like to do right now, Kenji, is just talk a little bit about your bio and acquaint people. I know that... Uh, your name is becoming more and more a household name around the world, and uh, your work has just been phenomenal. So I just want to acquaint people with a little bit of your synopsis of your phenomenal resume here. Well, I'm going to be funny today. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you okay, can be as funny I, I as you was, want. <laughs> I was born <laughs> into a human body. <laughs> yes. I uh, constantly don't remember my birth. <laughs> But um, I do remember being a baby, and I do remember, believe it or not, Gerber's baby food, you know, that came out of a little bottle, oh. a little tiny bottle. My mom had this little tiny spoon, and she would feed me. Uh, I liked uh, apricot and bananas the best. And I remember she could never get my mouth quite right, you know, and she always had to take the side of the spoon and wipe it off my lips. And uh, I remember that. <laughs> and I kind of remember diapers, and I kind of remember... My first experience in uh, preschool or kindergarten, yeah, I was pretty shy back then. Actually, I was shy, oh, probably till my 50s, believe really? it or not. Really? Yeah, I've only been um, liberated from my shyness for uh, 97, uh, 15 years. Really? I was, uh, well, we're glad you got over that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. I mean, um, I know a lot of people were born very, very sensitive and... Um, have had to adjust their sensitivity, and I was no different. I I, I think I acted out, though, because um, I always got in trouble. So for all of you that got in trouble when you were growing up, yeah. <laughs> you can still turn <laughs> It's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was uh, born unconscious in a sense like uh, most of us were in that um, I accepted the veil after I think about four years old. Mm. Um I, I was told I had a couple of God experiences. I'm not conscious of that, although I've had um, some near-death experiences uh, when I was a teenager of the great void and the vortex, which really scared me. Mm -hmm. And um, that was consciously probably my uh, most, I guess, intense experience. Um, so let's see. So I guess you could say I've been reborn but it's not like you would think. It's This reborn thing is almost kind of like a month-to-month -month thing. And since uh, I'm teaching the work, I, I kind of get reborn either during or after I do a training, which is generally every month. Mm -hmm. um, it's not this big awakening thing necessarily, but I've noticed over the last few years how the work has grown because I've grown and allowed the work to to evolve as I allow myself to move to the next level. Mm. And I think that will be the theme for today, is we're going to do a, a journey that supports everyone to graciously 
without a lot of fighting and kicking and screaming to move to the next level because that's what you really want. You want to be able to move to your next level. You know, to have everything all at once, and some people ask for that, you know, if you're not prepared and your body's not prepared and your brain's not prepared, uh, it's not a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So we want to be graciously gentle and um, for people to know that really the most profound thing you can do is ask for your next step and be willing to be moved and to that next space. Wow, I didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs> mm. But that's really wise words because, you know, I've been grappling with that myself. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you hear people that have these huge awakenings and great downloads, and I'm going, oh, my gosh, you know, um, mm -hmm. hi, I don't think I could be um, ever prepared for something so immense and intense as that. But I do yearn, and I know many people do, is they want to have their feet guided in such a way that each step leads them into a greater sense of awe and wonder in this day and age. You know, when there is so much that's out there that's controversial and negative, we all intrinsically yearn for that state of grace and, and guidance. And so for you to provide a vehicle which can do that is just absolutely a blessing, and I thank you for bringing this forth. Uh, you're most welcome. Well... Um, I will share with the audience that uh, my journey has been very long. I'm a kind of a late bloomer, so actually I was unknown up, in, up, up until November, basically, of last year. Uh, although, you know, in my life I've, I've met and known tons of people, but not necessarily have felt really close to too to many. Mm -hmm. But that's becoming less and less now. I am, because of the work, because the nature of the work helps, bring people together just naturally, and you do feel a kinship mm -hmm. uh, with your classmates, you know, with your clients, you know, just people you can share a wave experience with. And so it's amazing that way. That and Think of it this way. So we're going to ripple out this wave of, of kinship. Mm, that's a good word. Of kinship mm -hmm. today to where unknowingly people are going to begin to act and behave as if they are connected with a lot more people hmm. and a lot more things, things meaning like of the earth, elements of the earth, which is very, very important that we get back to being one with nature. It's so important mm -hmm. to feel, you know, the blessings of the trees and, you know, I, I miss the trees when I'm in states that don't have a lot of trees. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing. So here in Seattle, you kind of take it for granted. There's just like a rainforest of vegetation here. And mm -hmm. when I go to places yeah. that don't have trees, I go, oh, I just miss those trees. Mm -hmm. So trees do bless us just with their presence. Oh. Well, that is so true because energetically we are all one. And we've been conditioned to think that we're all separate entities and and distanced and um, our busy busyness in our day-to-day -day age has really created that um, sensation of loneliness in, inside. So, you know, it's true. When Whenever I'm out in nature and I live where I um, am quite surrounded by trees too and I, I really do feel that they are friends and, and that the branches nurture and shade us and protect us and um, you never feel lonely when you have a tree around you. That's right. See, you guys, just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> if you get really lonely and depressed, well, go hug a tree. Nobody will care anyway. No, 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 that's true. And um, Yeah, we have this big consideration out. of uh, what are people going to say and think. Even these young kids, you know, that they have that judgment. And, oh, I just can't wait, you know, when I'm able to do these these uh, events for the young generation. Mm. I'm going to suck it to them. Mm -hmm. and just help them to get off that whole thing of, like, comparison and, like, what are people going to feel and think about you and, like, just go do it, as that Nike commercial says. Just do it and don't be concerned about what you're gonna, what your friends are going to think or, or your family is going to think. Um, just a, an aside, talking about my background still, kind of in an unusual way. Mm -hmm. So what we've noticed is... Um, you know, people, and like today, you're going to get attuned even deeper to this field of oneness. 
And some of you may begin to ex exhibit naturally a kind of a, a healing presence where you're going to be guided to put your hands on people that have pain or, or that are in stress, mm -hmm. not even having taken any kind of a healing course or anything. Now, these are one of the signs of the new times. And so don't judge that, but just go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. And what we've noticed uh, from the students from the trainings, partly why they don't practice is they they give up too soon, like like they may share a wave experience with someone, and and that person might be very judgmental about this so-called new age stuff or you know this metaphysical stuff, and it might affect that student in in a way to where they begin to lose the enthusiasm for sharing the work, and eventually if they don't continue to share the work, they kind of lose interest. Mm -hmm. So same thing with these radio show activations, uh, you've got to kind of keep current with the vibrations. So I would say for everyone, after today, if you begin to notice that you're not in this blissful, um, loving everything state to where you know life is really good, sit down and remember this activation. Remember how you felt um, during the attunement. And that will help bring your brain back to that vibration of theta and delta just by remembering the kinesthetic experience of it. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. I learned that from Dr. Traeger back in nineteen in the early nineteen eighties when I studied Traeger work. Mm -hmm. He was such a gifted uh, medical doctor and brought forth he actually channeled, but he didn't call it that back then. But he actually brought forth this uh in a meditative state and he he taught me, I don't know about anybody else, but he taught me w way back then about how to be in this meditative state and do a, a full session of, of movement body work with your eyes open. Hmm. And so from that, that was like my, well, that was actually my second um, experience with holding the state before is when I was studying um, um, how to be a psychic, which I never became. But I did study that way back in the 70s, early 70s. And so got into that state then, and then the trade work built upon that. And there were some other things that followed. So actually what, we're, what you're going to receive is, is actually my 40-plus hmm, years in the field of, okay, here's what works experientially. And so you're going to get that in the field today. And you're going to get actually everything that I know on some level because – that's what I share on another level. I don't really talk about it too much, but uh, my field is open on a on knowledge level. It's open for anybody to access it. And mm -hmm. I don't know how technically, you know, you do that. I just know that it's open and available for people, I guess, to be downloaded that information in their own way. Wow. Well, I guess yeah. it comes down to intention. Like if, if the student is there, the teacher shows up and... Um, mm -hmm. You're definitely, you know, with all your years of experience and training where everything's been a layer on layer on layer, building up to this one moment right now where, you know, like you're saying, that you're, this is the culmination of all your experiences and all your knowledge in this moment right now as you expand into the next. Um, I suppose if we're, you know, aligning ourselves with your intelligence and your, your energy work and, and your knowledge, we can't help but catch the wave and flow with it. Yeah, catch the wave. You can be the <laughs> cosmic surfer riding that wave deep into the Pleiades or into the next universe, which is called the Doll Universe, which is a very <laughs> lovely, magnificent, enlightened universe. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of which, and, and you have such an insight into other universes, have you actually traveled, time traveled to other places? Uh, not consciously. Uh, mm -hmm. I know when I'm asleep, I, I help as well as other people that are sort of in my soul group kind of level. Mm -hmm. uh, we help people make transition because apparently a lot of beings are leaving very quickly and somewhat unconsciously. Mm -hmm. And um, to my amazement, though, you know, you would think it's a natural thing like going to the bathroom, right? Right. Um, but some people actually do need assistance in their transitions. So that's what I do at night. Um, I may go to other universes and help in that same way. I, I do know, though, my nature is one to be a, a traveler, so uh, I, I doubt if I'm in any one place for too long. I mean, I'm like making the round, so to speak, 
Yeah, so I know I go to other places, uh, you know, the Pleiades, Arcturus, Alderaan, Cassiopeia. These are all kind of, you could say, star systems that carry very high, clean vibrations of, of healing and transformation. They're also teaching systems. So, you know, we do also go to other places as students to learn. And some of us do teach, too. And some of us do learn. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot when the body's asleep in those eight hours or six hours, or in my case, five hours. <laughs> I wish I could get more, but, yeah. No wonder we, we, we wake up so work. tired sometimes. <laughs> What's that? No wonder we wake up so tired sometimes. We've been so oh, busy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is true, actually. That is true. Is Sometimes wow. if, like, you know, a war breaks out on the planet and a bunch of people die in war all of a sudden, mm -hmm. well, okay, you don't have time to repair if you're shot and you make transition or you get blown up and there's your body all dead on, on the ground. Yeah, wow. there, those souls are, well, it's not the soul so much, but it's it's when people go in traumatic ways very suddenly, there's a shock to uh, their whole system. Hmm. And uh, people do need assistance on that level. Wow. And even... Even animals, I think, sometimes need a little bit of assistance, but not anywhere near uh, where, where we need it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so if you wake up kind of tired, but not in the usual kind of tired way, it could mean that you, you know, spent a little bit of overtime on the inner planes uh, with helping humanity and other planets as well. Mm. Absolutely. We're very cosmic, and if we realized it, we would we really wouldn't be stuck in our stuff. We would go, my God, we are really grand beings. We are just so awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's we the part of the energies different. today is is that awesome, that awesome level. Mm -hmm. We are awesome. I believe that because, you know, um, like I say, since I've um, started my journey of transformation and, and you know, creation and, and seeing that there that there is so much more out there, I have just been so overwhelmed with awe. It's been so awe-inspiring. And, um, you know, and when you feel that awe, and of which I've heard that that awe sound is actually a very divine God-given sound and connects us to the universe beautifully, um, you know, it's just amazing how your life changes and transforms in little, little ways, but every little way is just, really big in itself and and it's really amazing so um i i agree it, it, we are really amazing people and we are in an awesome time yeah and i think today we're also going to do some energetics around uh, well so that people have a conscious realization that they're not their problems they're not their suffering they're not their pain they're not the the body's illness or disease that they're not their uh, financial challenge situation, mm -hmm. and what else? Oh, and that they're they're not <laughs> they're really not who they think they are on a personality <laughs> level. That's for sure. That's and a, that's a tall order. <laughs> <laughs> and also, though, we always include the inner child in this work because my understanding and from experience. People's major issues actually come through the relationship with their parents. Mm -hmm. And I've met very, 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 very few people, although it's possible, that had an absolutely wonderful upbringing with absolutely open-minded, open-hearted parents. Most people chose, they chose to have the kind of family situation that they did for their learning Mm -hmm. And we we do our best to coach people into understanding that, so that there's no bitterness and no resentment and no judgments about how how their parents were like not there for them or mistreated them or beat them up or you know emotionally mm -hmm. neglected them. They obviously did the best they could do with what they had, mm -hmm. and. Um, what was my point on this? Oh, so my point is, uh, so in the meditation, when you feel your grandness and your bigness and your expansiveness, and then you look at your life and look at all the situations in your life and your present-day problems, they can look very tiny and very insignificant, really. 
And so when you come back to the body with this greater understanding perspective, you'll be able to uh, create um, the healing vibrations for these these situations and these patterns. So, so what I've learned is that when you go quantum, then that's when you can shift. It, if you don't go quantum, you can't shift anything. That's why affirmations and prayers don't work mm-hmm. if, if they're not done in the quantum. They're just become mental, and mental doesn't get you anywhere. Right, right, right. Because all it does is just keep you in the box and keeps you small. Well, it keeps your mind, it keeps your brain, it supports your brain to keep thinking these thoughts, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, when you go too mental, it's like <laughs> you can't shut it off then. No, no, that's yeah. true. And that's ego, isn't it? Well, you know, the mind's a funny thing. I tell people, I, I have thoughts just like anybody else. I may have less thoughts on the average. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they say we have a million thoughts a day. I don't know. But I don't let my thoughts get to me. Mm-hmm. And um, the other thing I like to mention, because people are going to, well, they might, in the old way, they might go through a healing crisis and this whole level of processing this experience today. So we want everyone to know that you don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. Because when you do it in the quantum there is no processing to be done. It's just done. It's like over. Whatever like whatever pattern that you brought into the quantum in in that space is done. You don't have to process any of that. Wow. Well you that's just, a new new um out um a new insight because I remember your work even a four three or four months ago, there was still some processing involved. So can you, you say that um you know, it's obvious that things have evolved even that much more and that much faster and that much cleaner and smoother now. Well, we never really uh, supported the whole idea of processing in this work for the last five years. Mm. Um, it's just that I've um, the students that come or even the clients that come, they're used to it. Mm. And they've studied other systems that require that. So we don't require any kind of um, step-by-step thing to do, although we do somewhat the same kind of stage opening, if you will, or layer opening. Mm -hmm. But we do the protocol so that one can be able to be in that quantum. And then we use breathing, and we use the power of the brain, and we use intention and focus. And when we bring something into the light, basically, it doesn't need to be processed. Mm -hmm. But... People are so used to it that they will process, even in the trainings. They will go through a process, and we just have to let them do that because, you know, we don't want to interrupt them while they're in that. But, you know, we encourage people to understand the days of processing and healing crises is is over. Hmm. And you could say officially it's going to be over January 1st or December 31st. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we don't need to do it anymore. We, we can just live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, you got three months and a few days. <laughs> Hurry up, get your processing done because that's right. <laughs> we don't want it anymore. This is terrific. That's wonderful. And um, you know, Kenji, um, I have to tell you, I have downloaded your body of work from as of up to a few months ago. And every time I listen to your meditations and everything, I really totally bliss out. So mm-hmm. is it possible that um, some people, when they're doing this process, may actually go unconscious? Or, oh, um, most of them way? do. Most of them do not hear anything I say. They're, like, oh. they, they're conscious for the first minute and a half, two minutes, and then they're gone, except when I say, okay, now gently come back to the body, then they hear that. And then they begin to come back. And they don't remember anything in between. They don't remember the other 25 minutes or so. <laughs> this is probably very common. I would say uh, two-thirds of the people that listen to these attunements or just the radio interview with the activation are gone. Wow. It, it, that's okay because, you know, initially um, the brain has to get used to this level. Mm-hmm. So it's going to space you out. And that's okay because we also tell people, okay, they say, oh, where did I go? And I just say, okay, you went back to source to get recharged. 
Isn't I mean, that's where you want to go when you leave your body. You don't want to hang around anywhere else but go back to source. Even if it's for only five minutes, get recharged to the great central sun, get that energy and bring it back to the body. Hmm. That's why naps, if you do it right, you know, you come back after 20 minutes and you feel very energized. That's true. That yeah. is so true. That's why yeah. they call them power naps, right? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that if you're driving or using heavy equipment right now or doing anything where your concentration has to be totally focused, like cutting vegetables and that sort of thing while you're listening to this, uh, you won't want to participate in these attunements at this point unless you decide to pull over, put the knife down, whatever, you know, and, and just fully concentrate because I don't want to have any anybody get um, <laughs> injured on the, on, um, in the line of duty here as we do mm-hmm. these attunements. Yeah, we so. don't we don't want you to drop anything on your toes either. So yeah, <laughs> no multitasking, and uh, make sure that your space is quiet. So if you need to go to your bedroom or someplace, even the bathroom where you're quiet, then go do that because you don't want any external noise to disturb you because um, the energy is very delicate. It, it's like a spider web. Mm. And, you know, you can brush against spider web and just mess the whole thing up, right? Mm-hmm. So energetically, this, these are subtle but very, very, very strong energies. And the more quiet your space is, actually, the easier it is for you to go very deep, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can lie down, you can sit up, you can sit yoga style, you can sit in your lounger. Um, please invite your pets, especially your doggies, in for this meditation i'm just going to get my daisy my darling <laughs> dog daisy here <laughs> daisy is my daisy energy dog. dog it's a daisy dog <laughs> okay ready. and if you have She's cats if, make sure they're not on your lap they can be next to you though okay so we're this will be about 25 minutes or so maybe 30 just to give you a indication and again if you space out that's okay. You're going to get everything anyway. And if you listen to replay, you'll well, you'll get more on the replay. The more you listen to it, the deeper it goes. Okay, so as we start, I'm going to say this for everyone that's on the call and even not on the call, that may come on the call later today, tomorrow, the next day. So we ask and we choose to be a clear and perfect channel. So everyone just feel and think that that I now choose to be a clear and perfect channel. And take a deep breath and feel that vibration in your brain, in your nervous system, moving through your body. And why don't you do that about six more times? Seven is a power number. Well, all numbers are power numbers. So, seven times, breathing in that intention into the brain. And imagine that you have a three-sided pyramid in your brain called your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, and your thalamus area. And these are pivotal points of this three-sided pyramid. So imagine that you're going to breathe your intention of I am a clear and perfect channel right into that part of your brain. And as you exhale, just simply let go. Just let go. You don't even have to know what you're letting go of. Just let go, surrender, allow your body to become very relaxed and awake. Relax and awake. And you're going to ground your body deep into the Earth Mother. You can imagine actually that the Earth Mother is very huge. And she is embracing you. Embracing your feet. Embracing the base of your spine with her wonderful Earth energy. And imagine for a moment and feel that the whole mineral kingdom 
is supporting you in this meditation. All the beautiful gemstones that live inside the earth are coming alive that their spirit is beginning to touch your consciousness, beginning to activate your brain and your meridians. And that you begin to feel the rainbow colors surging through your blood. And imagine for a moment that there are a hundred white eagles circling you in rhythmic flow. A hundred of them. And they're sending you a message through their flight. There's a certain pattern of flight that they are doing around you that creates a magnetic, shall we say, resonance with your brain and your solar plexus. And you are opening to receiving those vibrations. And you might want to ask one of the eagles to come a little closer in your vision and really feel its body, feel the feathers and the whiteness and looking into the eyes and you can see the depth and the clarity and the vision that the eagle carries. And the eagle represents that part of you that knows about vision, that knows about how to maneuver in space, how to move through time, how to be that time traveler, that voyager. And if the eagle were to talk to you in its language, how would you hear it? Feel that. And now feel the grounding of the minerals. For they too also have a message for you, the amethyst. Visualizing and feeling the vibrations of amethyst, all the various colors of violet and purple violet. And feel that vibration moving and stimulating your digestive system, especially your stomach and your small and large intestines. And imagine that you had a million little tiny crystals of amethyst moving through your whole digestive system. And this violet is very cleansing and very uplifting and very purifying. Imagine topaz, golden topaz, and what that does to your brain, what that does to your lungs and your solar plexus. And you have aquamarine that beautiful vibration that represents the pure ocean, aquamarine blue, feel its vibration. Now moving through your lungs, feel it moving actually in your brain. Feel it wherever you need this vibration. Okay, we're going to call forth the pillars of light. Allow, continue to have your experience with these gemstones of the earth. We're also going to call forth the pillars of light for your physical environment, your physical space. And a Council of Fourteen that brings forth and holds 
these vibrations for you today. We've called forth the masters and the archangels and the hierarchies and the brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light. And we've called basically for loving support for you from all of the galaxies and universes that are hearing this call. We've called forth your ancestors to receive and all of your family members, whether they're here or on the other side. And we've called forth the spirit of your pets and all those that you love and care about. We basically call forth the world to receive. Okay, one last big deep breath into the brain and then sending that light slowly down your spine, cleansing and washing clean your spine of all stagnation, stuck energy. You might all of a sudden feel your body straightening up you just allow your body to move if it feels to move spontaneously. Now begin to feel a sensation of peace and calm at the bottom of your spine. And it's spreading outwards, it's spreading out horizontally as well as down through your legs and your feet into the earth. And this feeling and serenity is moving horizontally around the world, through every country on the planet, through all the peoples that are ready to receive. and spreading through our Milky Way galaxy. And it's touching all those civilizations out there that are ready to receive the power of grace, this vibration of oneness. Okay, we're going to ask everyone to detach from their emotional and mental body into what we call the unified field or the oneness, into that open space feeling, that feeling of total calm and serenity. It's that place where you feel somehow completely connected with life, where there is no stress, there is no problems, and there's nothing to do. It's simply a beingness, an isness, a nowness that contains all the potential of manifestation in all the worlds. And you're going to, on that level, in your light body, in your spirit body, take a deep breath and bring that even deeper into your light body and into the brain the storage area in your light body. And from this place of oneness, see the rippling of these vibrations that you are aligning to, rippling out through the universe, touching all the planets and the stars and the moons, on all dimensional levels, from one dimension to all 144,000 dimensional levels. It's rippling beyond space-time. It ripples faster than the speed of thought, than the speed of light. And these ripples are coming back to you as a star being coming back to you and we're going to teach the brain and the body how to receive in a new way now so as consciousness your light body as a soul as the I am the Lord God of your being 
You're going to locate your body once again on the earth plane. This is your primary body, which will affect all your other parallel lifetimes and future and past. So as you come back into physicalness, the human world, the earth plane, you're going to bring that vibration of grace that vibration of unconditional love and allowance. You're going to store it in your brain. You're going to store it in your solar plexus. And you're going to surround the base of your spine with this vibration. Now have the body begin to slowly breathe in and out almost like it's breathing in a circle or a spiral or a figure eight flow in and out continually in and out the breath is one and feel as if as you are breathing that your body is becoming light Spirals of light, figure eight flows of light, spiraling through all the many dimensions, feeling as if your body has lost its mm, ego boundaries in the sense of the meanness or the you-ness, and you're beginning to feel the sense of us-ness, of we-ness, of the all. And the primary vibration that you are aligning with is the vibrations of love, the vibrations of compassion, the vibrations of wisdom. Now breathe the body as if the lungs are very large like very large. Or you can imagine even better that the universe is beginning to breathe through you, through your body, that this huge cocoon of light that is surrounding you is actually breathing you and birthing you into your next level, into your next step, into your next space, into your next awareness and understanding, into the next level of your spiritual pathway, into the next level of the real you. And your body is responding. Your body has become very receptive and open. It is relaxed and yet it is awake. It is alert. It's soft, and yet it is very strong. Now we're going to call for the presence of the archangels to be in your presence. And feel them as you may in whatever way you choose. Imagine three million archangels in your space. And they all serve a slightly different purpose. And their consciousness is completely connected with prime source. And now the Ascended Masters, even the very ancients of Masters are here. Ones that have traversed the path eons ago, as well as the most recent ones. 
And they are here for you, for you to experience what they know to be true, which is also your truth. Breathing very deeply. Imagine that there is one light that connects all of the masters, male and female, together as one. And you are, on that level, one and the same with this ring of light. And again, you feel the embrace of the great Mother Earth, Gaia. And again, feeling the vibrations and presence of the white eagle. And we're going to imagine as if Prime Source is now very much in your vibrational awareness. And if you were to ask just one question, not from your logical mind, though, or your intellect, but from your soul, from your spirit, if you were to ask one thing of Prime Source, and Prime Source is giving you a response to this, what would that be like? And we'll give you a few moments of silence to really go very deeply into this. And I will call you back when it's time to return. Take a slow, deep breath and become, begin to come back into the body through the portal behind the physical heart. Slowly taking a deep breath. Breathing all the way down into the feet. Restabilizing the body. Now 
Now bring your awareness up to the pineal gland, and we're going to stabilize the body through the pineal gland to the earth. It is an automatic mm, process, if you will. Okay, now we're going to breathe into your belly button. And we're going to anchor that within the earth to the earth. Feeling the palms of your hands. So as you come back into physical reality, remember to mm, store all of this quantum information in your storage area in your physical brain. And as you need it, and as you're ready, you will begin to receive the downloads that come very naturally. Now, allow the bliss and this feeling of well-being to expand exponentially each day on its own without trying. Choose to really ground this vibration into your life to where it moves through your relationships, your money flow, your business, your career, your spiritual work, your meditation, your prayers. Let it move through all aspects of human life Now remember to put or call forth the pillars of light around your car before you get in the car to drive. You can put it in your office space, your healing room, definitely your home. You can also put it around your home. You can put it on land. You can put it anywhere you go. It will help to bring the environment into that place of oneness and harmony. So coming back into full awareness, the body is remaining very relaxed and open and still, yet grounded and focused. Mind is clear. Taking another very big, deep breath up and down the spine. And when you're ready, you may slowly open the eyes and letting the eyes adjust. And drink plenty of water for the rest of the day. And make sure that you're grounded through your feet before you go and get into your automobile or going outside. This work will continue as long as you allow it. It will actually continue until complete. We send our blessings. We wish all of you a very blessed rest of the year and know that you are loved and supported, that God has never left you, that all your needs are met, and that you are choosing to move out of the illusion of suffering into the reality of spirit. Namaste. Oh, wow, Kenji, that was beautiful. That was really different. Yes, it was. (laughs) Yes, that was really different. So that's another level for me here. Oh, wow. I'm so blessed to have been able to experience that with you and all the wonderful people online, present now and in the future. Oh, and to have that space of time with Source and to ask the questions. What a blessing. Mm. Very, very nice. And I was so worried I would just kind of fade away and and Mm -hmm. bliss right out and not be able to finish the call. But 
um, Grace has been able to provide me that opportunity to wake up at the right time. So I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm waiting for the show. I'm waiting for the show to where the host or hostess does not come back for a couple of hours. <laughs> And they realize, oh, Kenji was gone like an hour and a half ago. Oh, see, I better hang up this uh, <laughs> this telephone. <laughs> That'd be a very long recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, what a beautiful, beautiful experience! And to know that we are so guided, and that this work will continue ongoing as long as we need it to completion. You know, what a what a wonderful way to round out this year and onwards. Oh, man, I get goose pimples running up and down my spine here thinking about um, how marvelous this time is, how quick and efficiently things flow, and how abundantly blessed we are if we choose. Mm -hmm. And those people that are here with us today and on the show definitely are choosing a better outcome. Amen to that. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, wow. It's hard to ground back to reality after having such an amazing, amazing experience. But um, uh, Kenji, I I do know that um, a couple of things I want to bring forth is you always bring to these shows an amazing package of your complete body of work. And it is, um, you know, just a blessing. And uh, having had participated previously in, in, in your work, and I, I listen to those downloads all the time, um, you know, they just get stronger and stronger and better and better every time. Um, I have to say that the price point tonight is probably the most amazing price point I've ever seen on your package. It's only uh, $97. Yeah, it, uh, it's a little, it's really a giveaway. We don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, how do you put a price point on something so fantastic and so huge? But, uh, yeah, really... $97 for the wonderful package and downloads is just amazing. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mm-hmm. You're most welcome. And uh, for those newbies on the call, uh, it it would be as if you were attending, I don't know how many trains there are, probably 14, I'm just guessing approximately. It would be as if you were attending 14 three-day trainings and getting all the attunements that the students got in those trainings, plus a number of single attunements on specific subjects like clearing the four major archetypes or soul journeys or um, I'm not sure if the freedom one is in this one. don't think it is, but different um, sort of specific topics. And, well, you know, over time it just builds and um, you might get used to it energetically and think maybe nothing much is happening as opposed to in the beginning when you started the the package, but you will see the effects in your life, and that's what's important. We're not going necessarily for these divine experiences in the activations. What's really important is how it shows up in your life. And everybody, even though they want change, Part of the hardest thing of the human psyche to do is to change because it doesn't like change. It likes comfort and it likes, you know, um, uh, things as they are. Mm -hmm. And the work will help you move out of that into, shall we say, a different level of comfort zone, which won't be a comfort zone, but it'll feel like a comfort zone if that makes any sense. But it'll show up in your life, and just your life will begin to get better and better and easier and easier and more better and more better. And you wait one year from now. If you bought the package today, you just wait one year from now, and then come next year, look back on the last 12 months of your life, and you'll go, oh, my God, I went from there to there. And it was pretty easy. Hmm. You'll see the difference in retrospect. Sometimes we're so into it that we don't see the changes ourselves. But other people will see the changes and they will tell you. They will tell you how good you feel, how good your vibrations feel, and how young you look in the face. And you'll go, who, me? (laughs) (laughs) You can't bottle that. (laughs) (laughs) 
this energy does have a youthful quality to it. It will actually make your face look more youthful. Hmm. And you won't have to go buy all this makeup. You'll just start youthing, among other things. We haven't regrown hair yet, but we can't say <laughs> that the face does look more youthful and more vibrant, and you can actually see the soul through the eyes. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you can see the sparkle. Yeah. And we always say the eyes are the mirror of the soul, but my gosh, when you can really see the soul. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful state. Wow. Um, you know, and it would be really interesting to do that in a year from now. Book you again, Kenji, <laughs> and um, bring some of these wonderful guests back in a year and have a little bit of a um, tell us what's changed kind of Q&A. Mm-hmm. That would be wonderful. That would be different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm booking you right now, Okay. Kenji. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so all of you wonderful guests sing, make sure you attend September the 25th, 2013, <laughs> 7 p.m. Eastern, <laughs> 4 p.m. PST, and we are going to do a live show and tell. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, you know, maybe that would be great. Start a journal tonight and just yeah. start noticing. Yeah. Wow. Phenomenal. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, wow, so, you know, it's really, really great, Kenji. I'm so, so pleased that we've had this time together. Um, I know it's been a couple months in the planning because I actually was going to start the series two months ago and and kind of um, was told to beg off and um, spiritually, and it, now we know that this is the divine time. We are here for the right reason at the right time. There's no mistake that these wonderful people are in line with us tonight, and uh, whether they're near or far, wherever you are. And, um, you know, this this is a creation of another generation of soul family. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just really want to thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts, and I'd like us all to join in for just a moment and send Kenji a uh, grateful, um, energetic hug back for all this wonderful work we've received. Oh, Kenji, there. I hope you got that. Mm, thank you all. <laughs> Wonderful. I just want to um, just briefly mention before we close off and have Kenji think about some final words of with us before we close, I just want to mention that in a previous email I sent out, I announced tomorrow night we're going to have a special mystery guest. And I'd love to tell you all right now that it's going to be a return of Deborah Cummings. So for all of you wonderful, wonderful people who responded so beautifully to uh, the work of Joe Dunning and Deborah Cummings, uh, we are going to have another time, another hour, with the gracious gift of Deborah Cummings' presence and energy work as well. And uh, so this is just going to be an amazing, amazing week of energy clearings and energy upliftings and healings and um, really, really cementing the fact that we are here. We're not going away. 2012, all those premonitions in the past are not going to scare us out of who we are and as we step forward with ease and grace into 2013 and beyond to be our healthiest and wealthiest selves. So stay tuned and um, uh, look for those um, the email that I'll be sending out about that later. Um, and um, I want to let you all know that this has been a wonderful, wonderful night tonight. And I'd like to ask Kenji if you have that final little bit of words of wisdom to send us on our way tonight. Okay, so if everyone would like to close their eyes briefly for a moment and actually look up into your brain with your eyeballs and you will notice what appears to be orbs or sparkles of very bright light Glittering lights, even even something that looks like fairy dust. That's your abundance. Breathe it into the body. Bring it here to earth and manifest it. It's your divine right. The abundance on all levels. 
according to the direction of your soul, your spirit, your I am presence. Breathe it in, accept it, receive it. It's free. And it is yours. Go into the world and know that wherever you go, you bless the environment with your presence. And that's all you need to know. And continue to walk in the footsteps of the Masters. For that is who and what you are. Blessings. Blessings back to you. Namaste, Kenji. Namaste. Wonderful. Okay, I just want to let you all know that you can get a hold of the webcast um, replay at www.healthywealthyevolution.com forward slash replay.html and we'll be editing and prettying this all up with music on either end in just a couple of minutes after the end of the call and then it'll be available for 48 hours. If you wish to buy the single play of this Wonderful, amazing call so you can play it over and over and over and continue to enrich your life and those of all those beings and people and trees and nature all around us. You're willing, you're able to buy that single replay for your own personal use forever and ever, amen, um, for $9. And um, that is available on the replay page as well, along with you can... Um, also get a hold of Kenji's special offer as well. So jam-packed information, all lovingly graced upon us this evening and um, to re- enrich our lives as we go forward. It's all available for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, one and all. You are all a miracle, and I thank you very much for being a part of my life. Good night. Good night.